What's up you guys? It's your girl Shay. If you cannot read what this box says, if you can't tell by the title below, this is about to be a first impressions, a full face of ColourPop makeup. They were actually very, very known for their liquid lipsticks. At one point people went crazy over ColourPop. Now they have everything from primer to foundation, highlight, all this stuff. So I picked up quite a few things. I already have my eyebrows done and I have this scarf on just to try to lay my edges down. If you guys are interested in this wig, yes, it is a wig. It's not my hair. It's not a sew-in. And I'm gonna need you guys to go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up on this video. Leave me a comment down below and I will try to get that this week review out for you guys as soon as possible. But you must like the video and leave me a comment down below so that I can know y'all wanna, wanna know the deets. I know y'all do. It's okay. Decided not to burn my skin. It's because we will be using the ColourPop All Star Matte Plus Blur Primer. Okay, so the primer was actually 10 bucks, you guys. Just for reference, this is another primer, a drugstore primer by L'Oreal that I use. So they are about the same size. This one actually has a little bit more. So you do get a decent amount of products. I'm gonna go ahead and apply. I was not expecting that, so it's very, very runny. I'm just going to apply. One thing I do want to say, this is not going to be a product review per se. I don't have a lot of those on my channel. This is just the first impressions because I will not be wearing this all day. It is actually about 10 o'clock at night. So I'm probably going to be working out soon to get done. ColourPop No Filter Foundation. That's what the packaging looks like. And it's just spots with little stripes. And I have it in the shade Deep Dark 195. And the foundation was 12 bucks. So this is what she looks like. The foundation. Super, super cute. Kind of small. I believe they have a shade matcher on their website. Meaning they say for instance. They have different. If you wear whatever, whatever shade in the Fix Foundation, this shade will match you. If you wear this in the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, this shade will match you. I can't remember which foundation matched me with this, but I think it was the Fenty. I used the shade 445, I believe, in the Fenty Foundation. If not, I'll try to. If not, I'll try to annotate that on the screen. But for reference here today, we are going to be comparing it to my Laura Geller Quint and Tinch as you guys know this was one of my favorites when i first started here on youtube i used this in so many videos i hate new foundations because it always takes a minute oh there we go mm. i don't know about this one y'all look a little red i do not have red undertones like that i mean sometimes i do it's summertime i'm not gonna get away with it so those are what those two look like side by side. They're actually not that much off. Like I said, just the undertones are different. This one has more of a neutral undertone. And this one's a little bit more red, but I'm sure once I go on with my concealer and everything, we'll probably be able to fix that, hopefully. <laughs> shade is just the undertone is red and like you can kind of just see but i don't think it's bad 
I don't think it's noticeable. I feel like I can get away with it. I've seen worse. I've had worse on my face. And now it is time for these color pop no filter concealer. This is what the packaging looks like. And I have it in the shade Dark 42. The concealer was $6.50. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toffee. And that's what she looks like. Oh, okay. It's not that bad then. And then this is what the color pop one looks like right next to it. These are like the exact same color. So yeah, I did perfect with it. Now, it looks super, super light, I guess, because of the glossy kind of film around it. It doesn't say if it's matte, but I can only assume that it's a matte um, concealer. And I don't think I really like that because remember I was saying it already the foundation already kind of highlighted texture, and now it's like the concealer is kind of highlighting texture too. So it's just it's literally cakey. I don't like it. Hopefully, the next product can save us from whatever is going on in my face. This is the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. That's what the packaging looks like. Um, I'm really, really shocked that it came to be this small. This is my air smell powder, so for reference. <laughs> they do have setting powders, quote unquote, for dark skin. We will test that plane today. I have mine in the shade Translucent Deep. Oh yeah, that's what she looks like. I don't think y'all can see any of the words on here because it's like reflective this Ooh, is 8.5 grams of product Car which is 65 grams so this is literally like seven times the amount that is in here um the air stone can be found at walmart and it is i don't know it's probably like five bucks but this setting powder was nine dollars so there's that, how y'all feel about this.
Jeff made this. Cartier. Okay guys, so this is the final product of the first eye. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera. Okay. Okay you guys, so we are back to in this thing. The second to last product that we have here is one of my favorite things. If you guys do not know, I love a good highlight. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Highlighter. And this is what the packaging looks like. And I got it in the color Whisk. $8. So this bag will right here was 8 bucks. Concludes the tutorial. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the first impressions portion for you guys. Um, first, I'm gonna start out with the primer, the all star primer. I can definitely say I like the feel of the way that it went on. Um, the overall application, I will, the overall application is nice. It's a first impression, so I can't really just give you guys a full long review of what I think of all of the products. Obviously, because some things need to be worn longer than others to tell how wet it actually works. Just the first impression, I really like the texture of it. It's not really, really sticky. It's not too thick. It doesn't feel like it's anything on my face. It wasn't weighing anything down. So, so far, just for first impressions, this thing is pretty good. Next, we will move on to the No Filter Foundation. Like I said, I do feel like the color shade was off. It did make me look a little bit red, 
but the overall product I do I am satisfied with next we have the no filter concealer I like this I really really do like I said I think I put a little bit too much under my eyes but it's super super thick it blends out amazingly like one thing that I want to say it's super thick and it blends out and it is still thick that is one thing that I think is very very hard for a concealer to do it kind of dries down a little fast so if you let this sit on your face you're gonna have a hard time child but yeah a little goes a long way and it's just not gonna lie I'm a little bit on the fence about the powder just as far as I mean the color the fact that I do I think it's women of color friendly yes I think the color is so so bomb it's literally like the exact same shade in my face only thing that I don't like it's so small like I said I don't like no brush can go inside of here fully I don't know if you guys noticed but when I first used this I was kind of like whoa because it was so much on my face which I am thankful that it's not a translucent powder or a banana powder or a lighter powder like that because that could have went real bad real fast but because it is the same shade as my skin I was able to just kind of buff it out and play it off real real cool so I think that I will get a lot of use out of this I'm super excited to try it again next we have the orangey black palette I really really like this palette I think it's so freaking cute it has a really really big mirror on it I'm gonna flip it over and blind you guys I think it's so cute that it has all of the shades here on the back and of course on the inside um the size of the pan is pretty each pan is pretty decent i think the color showed really really well it is still really really pigmented so yeah i would definitely recommend this you guys it's freaking bomb next we have the highlighter the super shock cheek pearlized highlighter so it's pearlized that's why I, I kept saying oh my god it feels like butter it does though y'all so as you guys already know how i was acting when i was first using it my first impression of this i love it it is amazing where have i why have i not been using this why has nobody told me about this y'all know how i feel about highlighters and it's only eight bucks i need that in my life so i am going to most definitely be ordering more of this period and last but not least we have our lip gloss and liquid lipstick well it's a liquid lipstick but it says ultra blotted um i'm not sure i think the ultra blotted is just supposed to be like a more creamy just softer less drying version of their ultra mats and if that's the case i can definitely say they achieved that this went on like butter and um I'm gonna be honest, I would typically wear this with a lip liner. The only reason that I did not wear it with a lip liner is just because I want you guys to see how it looks, the actual true color of it. And I don't have a color pop lip liner, so mm -mm, we're gonna do all that. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this. It is great. And lastly, we have our ultra glossy lip. The ultra glossy lip, I would recommend it, but I must say it is super, super sticky. So just be prepared for that. Be aware of that. And also the applicator. Oh, I got this on the back of my hand. How long it's been there? But the applicator, as you guys can see, it's not the, I mean, it is a traditional applicator. But you see how it's not like, um, it's like a brush. It's not like an actual, what is it called? the duck bill applicators oh yeah i prefer my lip glosses to have a more sturdy hard applicator as opposed to something like this one that kind of just it just seems messy to me i don't know i feel like it's real sticky but other than that you can deal with the applicator and like the little sticky kind of feeling and then i would still say go ahead and get this that pretty much concludes today's video you guys i hope you enjoyed watching me review these new products they're new to me not new to the public but they're new to me let me know down in the comment section what is your favorite product that i tried today what is you like girl they got you popping i'll tell y'all right now my favorite on top is this highlighter i was super super scared and i thought it was gonna be too ashy for me but it's like so perfect it's like the perfect natural highlighter like it looks like a skin reflect it's not too bold not too ashy it's just like perfect i'm gonna be wearing it every day every video now y'all gonna see that so just go ahead and be prepared because yeah if you guys want to see a 
product review on this week go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up leave me a comment since we need that video on that week asap where did you get it from um if you have made it this far and you have not subscribed since what are you waiting on but clearly you love me because I know this video is anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes. So if you have made it this far, sis, clearly you love me. Clearly I have kept you entertained. Are you not entertained? Go ahead and subscribe because I got more. I got more. Watch some videos, grab me some popcorn, a little snack or whatever. Enjoy some of my old videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.